You've got a radiologist who has, um, say, a brain scan taken in CT and a brain scan taken in MRI. And what he or she wants to do is basically look at a piece of anatomy or pathology in there and compare it between the two scans. Now, when you take a CT scan, you um, basically scan at a different orientation to an MR. And when the radiologist has to look at the two scans, it's quite a complicated process to try and line them up and match the pieces of interest in the scans. What we do is we provide a little piece of software that instantly combines the two images and says, right, you need to rotate it this way and this way, presents it to the radiologist lined up, ready to go. So they click on a piece of pathology in one and it appears in the other. Now this saves radiologists a lot of time, especially when you think that a particularly complicated um, study, that's the, the word they use for looking at a set of images, might have maybe 10 different sets taken over different time periods, CT, MR, different sorts of MR, and really we just allow them to take what could have been a half hour um, review of these images and take it down to about 10 minutes, purely by allowing them to navigate much more quickly. Well, obviously there are benefits for the, the radiologists involved. What are the benefits for patients? So for a patient, the, the real uh, bonus is the speed at which the radiologist will be able to make the report, um, which allows hospitals to have a higher throughput and allows more patients to be seen. So the difficult part of um, having a scan for the patient is going in and, and going and sitting in the machine and having the thing done. But in fact, the machines are very efficient. The real difficulty is getting the radiologist time to really do a precise diagnosis based on that scan. And what we're doing is we're giving the radiologist more time so you can spend more time looking at patients' um, images and really get the absolute perfect diagnosis out. Of course, all this developed from what we called last year stargazing technology, didn't it? Absolutely. So the, the medical imaging application is just one of a suite of things that we work on. The other areas are um, defence imaging and also um, oil and gas seismology the side of things. Now, the thing that links all these fields with astronomy is the big data sets involved. And basically, you have more data coming in that you can deal with quickly and efficiently. Um, and therefore, you either need to buy huge computers or use very clever algorithms to try and solve the problem. And uh, as a startup company, we can't afford the huge computers, so we've focused on the algorithms. Uh, and we develop and deploy algorithmic approaches that really help speed up all these sorts of processes. So in astronomy, we took something from 10 hours down to about a minute. Um, if you look at the defence applications, we're looking at being able to perform analysis of images in real time. So if you've got a camera that can take a picture 50 times a second, say, we can process it before you've even take, taken the next frame. Uh, and that has real implications for doing the analysis of imagery actually on the platform that's acquiring the data. This means that rather than having to send the, the data over a, a low latency link, um, which maybe doesn't have the bandwidth to be able to send the picture over, you can just send the information and you can get the answers at the other end much more quickly. So this would help in a situation like detecting uh, an improvised electronic device? Uh, it could do, certainly, yes. I mean, the, the prevalence of um, UAVs, uh, the unmanned airborne vehicles, um, means that there's huge amounts of data coming in and in fact, 90% of that data is never seen because you don't have the manpower to be able to process it and be able to look through hours of footage that's coming in every day and really understand the key information from it. What we can do is process that imagery in real time, actually on the UAV as it's taking it, and just say, right, okay, this was all very boring, but this bit was important, and this is very boring, but this bit is important and actually guide the human analysts to really in, go to the right spot and spend their time most efficiently.